In the heart of Devon, amid the countryside of Dartmoor's outskirts, lies Ashburton, the home of Sand School. Welcome to Sand School. Sands is a small democratic secondary school of about 60 students. In Sands there's new uniform and we're on first name terms with everybody. Sands has a very different approach to the relationships between staff and students. Socially it teaches you how to interact with adults as normal people rather than just figures of authority. The students and staff are equal and discuss all the decisions on running the school and vote on them. Have I got your permission to develop these sorts of contacts with young teachers? Yes. 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 Uh, anyone have any objections? No. Okay. Nope. Lovely. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Is there any other these? No. No? Okay. Be <laughs> Well, the meeting in SANS is a group like gathering of the school where everyone comes to voice their opinions and what's happened in the week and new things happening like school trips, talking about what they think is right, what's wrong, what we should do, where are we going, what's this going to do. It's just a place where everyone can come and voice what they think about SANS and what's going on and it's a democracy where like everyone just has a say. You should have a big punishment like being banned from the IT room for a very, very long time. The second proposal is that then that we go with that but then there's a further consequence. There's a chair which actually has to be a student and they start and end all the points and keep everything in order. There's an agenda up in the hall where um, anyone can put up points or things to vote on in the next meeting. We vote on students and staff of course after the interviews, uh, a committee tells the meeting what they've got and they've all had a trial, then we discuss and vote them in. The main rule of SANS is that you have to want to be here. Most people who want to be here want an education and are coming to get an education. I want to get into college <laughs> and get GCSEs in things so I can have a good job. That's it. SANS is all about self-motivation because there's no one behind you to keep you pushing you and make you do it. You have to do it yourself, which is a valuable life lesson. It's, it's good to be free to not go to a lesson if you're really, really in a terrible mood about it. Just, just taking advantage of the fact that you can do whatever you like. It's okay up to a point, but when you get to GCSE level, you, you, you need the GCSEs. You have to do the work, otherwise, otherwise, what's the point in you being here anyway? Teachers are not there to drum information into your brain. They're there to facilitate your self-motivated learning. So now we've got two of them, two magnesiums, going with two oxygens. Form MGO. Hugh. Hugh, could you have four lithiums and an oxygen to make lithium oxide? Lithium is in group one. Where's MG then? MG is in group two, but you, need, you still need two of them to combine with oxygen. Um, yeah, okay. Right, let's, let's draw it up. Yeah, but the molecules need two, so we can balance it out. Something from group two, like beryllium or magnesium, because they've, they've got two electrons in that shell. Red in this case is lithium. It means they've got two hands this conversation could have become a bit cringy. Hey, wait, is it the end of the lesson? Yeah. yeah. 
I think it's good that you're allowed to pick your own subjects. I'm not sure if I want to do it again because some of the questions I meant are a bit like oddly. I'm not sure if I asked them correctly or not, but. Um... Got your name on it? When you first come, you should just try everything. Don't just quit something because you think, oh, I'm not interested. It's good to try it all. And then when you get to kind of 03, like, then make your decisions on the things that you really enjoy. Now, Kilimanjaro has got glaciers on it. Because it goes up over about 10 to 12,000 feet. Once it reaches the height above which, it's cold enough to snow a lot. Because we know there's less energy up there. And also the wind so is getting cold. Yeah. So right. what's going to happen when it reaches the snow line? And then the river's gonna, the ocean's and gonna fall. Fall of snow, fall of rain in the summer perhaps. Sands offers a full range of subjects when you start your timetable to do them all. And then after a while, if you particularly don't like a subject, then you can do something else. Most people do stick to all their lessons. So this mountain range... Simple formality. Have you any Jewish grandparents? Next. You're identity card, parents with your old time. Stop with the Jew. You're identity card, parents with your old time. Stop with the Jew. Qual kilometers. 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 Qual also, Zorvo said that, like, uh, Gentiles have to stay in the ghetto, otherwise they'll be shot. Oh, what's like, it? What? What? what do you think about lessons? What's different about state schools? That you well, they're, they're more relaxed, and yeah. because it's like, they don't, and like, in state schools, they're like, sit down, do your work, no talking, whilst here, you're given a bit more freedom, and you can just have a little chat before the lesson properly starts and stuff like that mm -hmm. so you, you feel more like you actually want to do work yeah. than you're being forced to do it um what i really like about te teachers is they're not just teachers um but they teach you more than teachers do really yeah because it's like before i couldn't speak to grown-ups at all i just like stutter and stutter I just be like yeah but now because I'm I'm used to t um, talking to teachers just naturally yeah just on my own accord not just answering questions yeah. I've really learned something yeah and so and you're like friends with all of them and they're all really nice okay come on then. See, he goes right, yes, right. he goes mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. people gonna watch this <laughs> That's what I used to do. Like, I, was going, I learned in my first trial week of mm. going to Sands. I learned more in that week than I did in my whole year of primary school. I used to hate my primary school and I used to like pretend I was ill and all that stuff. But when you actually get there, it's actually really, really, really fun. I think if they skipped all the classes, you were really stupid. But tend to be in your first week or so, you kind of go a bit crazy because you don't really think about it and you're like, <gasps> no lessons. Well, if you don't want to, I mean, so yeah. But then you get to think, actually, the lessons are really good and I'm going to go. No, you'll get there, you'll get there absolutely fine. Well, let's come off my hands, alright? Oh, yeah, no, like no, 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 Pencil it's to that. It's to this side of it, is it? Like that. I guess so, because right there, that's the ink. Mm -hmm. The ink in the screen, it just looks so beautiful. Okay, so it's hold it at about a little bit more slopey and evenly across either end. So come, come, come in the middle of it, and you press like that. Really hard. Press like you're going to die if you don't. Perfect. Perfection. I would, I'd touch that in, but I'm not sure about the other side of that eye. I think that works okay with that. Because you tend to give up at the end. Yeah, admiring. Yes. Is that enough to do? Most students 
sit between six and eight GCSEs with us. Nearly all of them get above the national pass rate, which is five or more C's or above. Of any group of 12, we'll find 10 at college, two go on to do part-time work or travel, and then they probably go into higher education after that. Sans lunches are healthy, vegetarian and made from local ingredients wherever possible. There is a timetabled cooking lesson twice a week, where students and a member of staff cook lunch for the whole school. Lunch is a nice time for students and staff to sit together and have a chance to socialise outside the classroom environment. Everyone who eats school lunches has to wash up once a week. The rotor is placed up telling you which day you are on. If you miss it, you get catch up or miss trips. At the end of each day there was 15 minutes which were put aside for people to clean and look after the school. There are lists in which people are chosen for particular areas and there are others who check that people are doing it. Well, useful work is just like, respite. because we use the school and make it dirty and <laughs> muck about in it, we have the right to clean it up for 15 minutes every responsibility to clean it up. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty um, annoying because it's cleaning and like nobody really likes to clean but it is fair and it does teach you how to clean toilets when you're older because you can't, when you're older you can't exactly like go to your neighbour's house and say can you clean my toilet because that would be really sad. So it, it is just, it is just common sense, it's only human I think that's what SANS is about, it's just common sense. I think for me the, the most fascinating thing about SANS is the relationship between the students and the staff because at so many schools the students and the staff really don't have that sort of working relationship because the students have to respect the staff even though the staff don't necessarily respect the students and their thoughts and opinions but at SANS it's like a great big family where everyone gets on like brothers and sisters and aunties and uncles and fathers and grandparents so some of the children have said to me they see me as um, a big brother so I play that role in the school and I cut off and get beat up a little bit, but it's fine. And some of the older staff are seen as grandparents or parents, so all of that works quite well together. And we have arguments and we fall out, but at the same time we, we work together and try and resolve it all. But um, everyone is equal like a family, it's great. When I actually get down to it, I am motivated, and that's something to be coming from sounds and having to be motivated to actually go to, le to, go to lessons. Otherwise you won't get grades and won't get out, um, like go beyond sounds. That's definitely something that's helped at uni, being, you know, being able to do that. I wouldn't be who I am now without sounds. Like when I first, when I came here, I was really shy and didn't talk to people. And like when I left sounds after uh, three years, I was you know, not shy at all. So you might not go to uni, you might go to uni, but you're getting what you what you need out of it.